Sarah Brenner, Assistant Vice President for Nano Health Initiatives and Assistant Professor of Nanobioscience. With Nano Health and Safety, uh, one of my predominant research goals is to ensure the health and safety of the workforce in nanoelectronics. So we do things like uh, monitor exposures uh, to nanoparticles and nano aggregates in the clean rooms and the facilities here on site that would be representative of where workers are working throughout the nanoelectronics industry. And we also look at the effects of nanoparticles on cells, on genes, um, and on whole organisms. In that way, we want to make sure that there are no negative or unwanted health consequences of creatures, people, coming into contact with nanomaterials. The flip side of that, of course, is medical applications. So how can we achieve the outcomes we do desire um, in terms of improving someone's health? So I facilitate quite a bit of research in nanomedicine, um, bringing together clinicians uh, from various different medical specialties with our researchers in engineering and physics and biology to derive new treatments, new diagnostic tools, new therapies, um, and new ways to improve the lives of people through better integration of technology in the healthcare system. Here we can not only do the research, it's cutting edge, but we can also develop and deliver the curriculum to enable the next generation of people to do things that we can't even imagine are possible. So in my particular group, a student in the future could learn health and safety techniques. They could go into any industry and become a world-renowned health and safety expert in nanotechnology, which is an increasingly important need out in the field as more and more products integrate engineered nanomaterials. Um, or they could go the medicine route and do an MD and a PhD and be a clinical researcher right at the cutting edge of developing a new technology for treatment, for prevention, for diagnosis that could be rolled out in clinical trials. Students who, who come to CNSC for education are really getting the best of the best. They have an opportunity to work with world-class researchers. They have an opportunity to go directly into the fabs and then directly into these nanobioscience labs and work with industry partners. They can invent, they can innovate, they can cross-pollinate, uh, they can work with a physicist one day and an engineer the next day and a physician the next day or all on the same day. You can excite and energize people about the future and you can also um, you know, really feel like you're a part of moving society forward. I really feel that in a, in a palpable sense on a daily basis here.